Hello everyone, Only Draven here, and today we're doing another tutorial in Minecraft Sky Factory 4. Today I'm going to be showing how to make and use the Mob Swab, the GM Chicken Feed, to get a couple of different advancements. Um, if you find this video helpful and you like it, please be sure to click like. But most importantly, please remember to hit that subscribe button. That way you can see all my videos and tutorials as they come out. Um, now one thing I will be using in this video is a melter to get liquid experience. If you're unfamiliar with how to use the melter, I will link a tutorial for that down in the description of this video. Okay, so first things first, we need to make a mob swab. And a mob swab is used to get DNA from different mobs in the game. Mob swab is very easy to make, it's just one stick and two white wool. Now we're going to use that to get some mob DNA. So let's go look at that process. I have here a friendly zombie just hanging out. Um, most mobs in the game will give you DNA. Um, not all, but most will. You can trial and error to see which type of DNA you like. All you want to do is equip the mob swab. You see I've got it here in my hand. I'm going to go up to the zombie and right click. Oh, and I'm on fire. That. So once I right clicked, now you'll see that now the mob swab has a little green on the end of it. That means it has DNA on it. And you can use multiple mob swabs on a single mob. Um, it does not hurt the mob to take its DNA with the mob swab. So once we have the mob swab, we want to make GM chicken feed. Now to get GM chicken feed, you need seeds, a mob swab with DNA on it, and an experience bucket. Now it is important to note that if you go into the JEI and you look up feed, it does not tell you the, the recipe for that. So what you want to do is you want to go into your advancements book underneath the age of farming. You'll see the first down here in the bottom corner advancement is use on any mob to swab their DNA. So what we just did will get you the swab the deck advancement. Next it says craft the chicken feed from seeds a swab with DNA and a bucket of experience. So that's where you get the recipe for that. And then we're going to use that by feeding that feed on an adult chicken to collect a spawn egg. So in order to do that, of course, we need some seeds, the mob swab we just made, and a bucket of experience. Now I'm using a melter here to get some experience. I have some liquid experience already here going into a fluid tank. So I'll just right click that and now I have my experience bucket. So I'm going to go over to a crafting table, put my seeds, swab with DNA on it and my experience bucket and I now have GM chicken feed and it has zombie DNA it says it right there in the description Cont contains Minecraft zombie DNA so next I need a chicken and I have a willing participant right here so next what you're gonna do is you're gonna just right click with the feed on the chicken and this happens your chicken will explode but in its place as you can see down in here we now have a zombie spawn egg. So that is how you get the different spawn eggs from the different mobs in the game. And why is that important? A couple of different uses, but most importantly, there are some spawner uh, mob spawner advancements that are going to require that egg. And we're going to look at that in a future video. Uh, but this is a really easy process um, to put together. All you need are some chickens. In this situation, I grew my zombie with a zombie seed, got a little sunshade over his head. A chicken with a chicken seed. There's another one already popping out there. And you can create with seeds most of the different type of mobs that you'd like. Uh, some of them you can just find out in the world as well. And I'm on fire again. There we go. So, uh, again, the melter um, tutorial will be linked in the description on how to get the liquid experience. And that is all that's needed to get those three advancements. So, again, today we covered swab the deck, feed the chickens, and egg hunt. Well, that's going to do us for this video, short, easy one today. Uh, if you have any questions about this tutorial or any of my tutorials, uh, please be sure to put those down in the comments, and I'll do my best to respond as quickly as I can, as well as if you have any recommendations or suggestions for other tutorials you'd like to see in Sky Factory 4, please throw those down in the comments as well. I'm always looking for more ideas. Uh, but that is going to do us for today. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day.